Well, hello everybody and welcome to this video in which I'll teach you network join, leave and switch messages on Bungie Cord. So I have two different servers that are linked in one Bungie Cord instance. And if I disconnect, you can see that it says minus and then my name. If I connect, it says that I've joined. And likewise, if I switch a server, it says Kangerco has switched. Well, I forgot the verb there, but you get the point from survival server to the flat server. Now, the way it's going to be working is we're going to be continuing what we've built on the second video about Bungie Court. So if you didn't see the second video on Bungie where I covered Bungie events, please head over and watch it now. Otherwise, you will miss the code right here. You have to be familiar with Java and with Bungie programming. I don't have a free Java course on this channel, but there is a lot of free resources. If you want to dive deeper, get professional help, please check the link in the description. We have an online academy program called Project Orion that not only is going to teach you Java, but also how to make amazing microplanes and how to make micro servers and how to sell these plugins and even land developer positions. And it has 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, there is no bad blood. So this video requires you to have some basic knowledge of Java. And as I mentioned, uh, Bungie events, events I covered for free two videos before this one. Now, continuing inside our Bungie listener class, we are going to be wanting to listen to a specific event called on switch, which is not as easy as it might sound, because this server switch event is actually called both on join and on switch. So what do we need to do? We need to work with the priority system a little bit. And then I can listen to this event on a lower priority. And then I can listen to this event on a higher priority. The reason is on the lower one, we are going to be broadcasting joins. And then on the higher one, we're going to be broadcasting switches. Now, the priority is not exactly the same as on bucket. On bucket, you can only pick between six. It uses a an enum, whereas here it uses a byte. So we can go from uh, zero pretty much to 127, if I'm not mistaken. So this is what we can do. Now, what we can also know is that every time a player joins this event broadcast, but also every time player switches the event broadcast, we can use that information to simply store the player's server that he originally joined into, so origin servers, into a hash map. Now we can, of course, get the player right here. And if the origin servers do not yet have a player, that means that we can then call proxy server get instance, and we can simply broadcast a very nice message that the player has joined the network right here. I don't have to explain the chat colors. Hopefully by this point, you already know how that works. And it's very simple. Now you'll be tempted to store the player here. Of course you can. However, I picked a more elegant approach. That means we're going to be storing the proxy player right here. First thing I want to store is the two server that the player is connecting. We can simply get the player, get the current server's info, which is going to return the actual server. And then we can store the from server, which I'm going to be doing a little trick right here. I'm going to be putting the current player information and the current server into the map and in Java, if you pay attention in the put method, this will return the previous key. Right, so we can use that information to check if the from server is not null and I can just delete all of the AI generated code. That means that this is a switch because it was stored there previously. Now, of course, when the player is disconnecting, we're going to be deleting the origin server. So this is safe proof. And then we can simply broadcast and I can change this information right here. I can make this, I don't know, light purple. And then we can say the player has switched from the old server, which we have gotten from the map as the alt key to the current server, which we have received in the actual event. Hopefully guys, that makes sense. Let me know if that is confusing and I'll explain to you in the comment section if that doesn't make sense. Again, we're going to listen to two similar events, uh, sorry, same events, one before the other. So that one comes first. We're going to be just broadcasting if the player does not have an older server and then right after that code, this code will come to, to play where we're going to be trying to put another server to the map and Java will return the old value. If it is there, we can then use it to simply broadcast that, that that one is a switch. Now what I can do finally, we can just say on disconnect player disconnect event and we can get the player and we can likewise call origin servers remove by the player's unique ID. Again, 
in Java, this, when it removes the mapping, it will return the key whose mapping is to be removed from the map if it existed. So if the key is there, it means that now it's deleted, but it also means that the player obviously played on the server and we can use that information to simply broadcast that the given player has left it us has left the network now let's jump in the game let's test it out there we go i'm in the game says Kankerko has joined the network and both of us are actually on the same server which is good let me just switch the server to the other one it says second account has switched from flat to survival and if i disconnect hopefully it'll display this properly let me just do a quick test again to make sure that there is no bugs of course always make sure to do a proper testing and looks like it's working properly that's it guys for this video if you want to learn more about creating amazing minecraft plugins check out the course below it's a full seven week course plus twice per week myself on a live zoom coaching calls providing personalized help and again if you don't like it there's no bad blood because we have a full 30 day money back guarantee that's it for me today if you enjoyed this video smash the like button comment below subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and i can't wait to see you guys in the next one take care